the big question is, how do you stop Messi? That's what everyone wants to know. Everyone's wanted to know it for years and still haven't well, really managed it. I was in a team that tried it a couple of times and didn't, didn't come off. <laughs> so, <laughs> other, than, other than GBH, I don't know at the moment. <laughs> but he's, um, listen, um, he'll be in, uh, in the conversation. We're talking about the best players to ever play football. So, he's someone I think there's no individual that can deal with him. It's a team effort. You've got to have two and three players around to stop him. Stop him getting the ball. Put people around him. Stop the ball coming into him. To, and then when he gets the ball, then you've got to have people that are on him. I just think the reason they say he's the best that's ever kicked a ball is that whatever obstacle you put in front of them, they come up with an answer. If you double up on them, they somehow come up with an answer. If you force them one way, he'll check and come inside and go the other way. That's what the top men do. You don't want to let him go on his left foot, right? So he goes, so he goes back. He comes back on his right, and what are you going to do? There's nothing you can do. You just hope that New World can save you again. I mean, the way he falls is, 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 is actually funny. It looks like he's like a baby in a playpen, Boateng. When he goes past him, his legs, it's almost like his laces are tied together. Look at this piece of skill, and he just falls over. I mean, what can you do? All teams thinking the same, I can't let him go on the left foot. It's a same goal. But it's a same goal if you let him go the other way as well. So, what do you do? And, and what is actually crazy, it, you guys have to understand that, it's virtually on the same step, he's coming back on his right foot. And now that, that, that it's not logical, because if I try to do that, obviously it's just it, kind of smaller. If I try to do that, you'll fall on the, literally the same step. It's a very difficult skill to do. So because when we, the professional, a lot of the time we do one-on-ones in training. I mean, I don't think you could actually do one-on-ones with because the defenders would lose no, so much confidence. It wouldn't be good for them, would it? No, I mean, what? dire che lui è qualcosa di speciale, veramente, anche l'altro l'anno fuori classe, però Messi quando ti puntava, diciamo che Messi è... ti fa 10 scatti in 10 minuti e ti distronca perché lui magari ne, ti giri e ancora non sta sudando, sta iniziando a sudare, tu sei conto come e poi te ne fa un altro, è quello, poi sempre porta palla, porta palla. You know, the guys he's playing against now are all extremely athletic. They can all run like the wind. All the defenders today generally can run like the wind. He's making them look slow. He's making them look ponderous. He, he wrong foots them. He makes them look stupid at times. Yes. Do you think I, he's the best ever player? Yes, I do. This is probably possibly one of the most embarrassing nights of my life. The thing about him is that he doesn't even, doesn't even come near you. So you actually, me and Vidic stood on the halfway line once at Wembley and looked at each other and just went... <laughs> and we were losing, like, and we were standing there I've not even touched anyone. I've not even got anywhere. If you're a defender, in a game, you want to get near people, or at least get the ball. We didn't have the ball, and I didn't get to put my hands on no one to, to rough up or anything like that. And the problem is, is when you did get close to him, he was that small and quick. He was going underneath. <laughs> so, I was like, I was trying, normally, normally you go out and hit someone in yeah. the chest, and he was just going underneath it, and I was thinking, this guy, he's a magician. He's the best player I played against. Make attack, the best form of defense. But Messi skips away, Vidic. Messi has a path through and shoots, yes! He's done it! Taking matters into his own hands in spectacular fashion, Lionel Messi, at last, at long, long last, seems to have won a game against Brazil. Messi won't escape Miranda or will he? Oh, yes, he will. Messi in on the blind side. It's Messi again! Is there no stopping him? The bigger the game, the bigger the goal for the little man. Absolutely beautiful. Messi makes the run from deep. It's an exquisite touch round the defender. We said Albion can't get close to Messi. He bobs and weaves. Finishes it off beautifully against Ike Casillas. Here on Messi. Gets past Marcelo. They are humiliating Real Madrid. Here goes Messi, they're backing off and backing off! It's a wonder goal by Lionel Messi! A hat-trick for Lionel Messi! And the best player in the world might just have won this game for Argentina! Nice little trickery from Lionel Messi with Marcelo in pursuit. Genius. Goes around Ramos, help in the middle, drives it across, and Arbeloa saves the day. Here's Messi. 
Away from two, three, four. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How good is he? A near supernatural goal from Lionel Messi. He has wriggled and tiptoed his way to the gates of Wembley Stadium. He is just brilliant. Best player in the world, bar none. Whilst there's a lot of players out there content with 1-0, keeping the ball, keeping possession. Every time he's had it in the last 10 or 15 minutes, he still wants more. He's looking for more. Look at the pace, look at the speed, look at the intricacy of the touch, the control, and then the finish, which is absolutely perfect. Slide rule past Casillas, he's got no chance, but you can't get near him. They want to trip him, they want to foul him, they're trying to stop him. You can't touch him, you can't get near him when he's like that. Sensational goal. Someone needs to tie his laces together. You just can't do that. Beautiful, intricate passing between oh. Messi and Pedro. And it's near now, Messi! It's superb! Now you see us, now you don't. Quick, dancing feet. Loads of defenders are about to think there's no danger. But see when that little man gets the ball, there's always a danger. It just mesmerizes defenders and goalkeepers. Felipe Luis and Messi gets away right from him with sublime knees. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Oh, look at that. Messi just makes the defense disappear. Look the way he changes his direction and his acceleration. They're trying to kick him there. He tries to kick him, they just can't stop him. Well, it's genius, Rob, but as I say, he sees things differently. He's Messi. He scores again. And he just makes the most difficult things in football look easy. Absolutely sublime. You run out of words to describe this play. One of the greatest footballers that the world has ever seen. And what play from Messi. Again, twice you think that the defender for Chelsea is going to get there and suddenly he's just towed it away and he's gone. Brilliant for Messi. Rakitic leaves it for Messi. Messi full steam ahead. Brilliant, oh, brilliant, brilliant. brilliant. Hasn't scored in six Clasicos, but he's back to haunt Real Madrid. Cotton thrust. The goal that puts him ahead of everybody else as the scorer in Clasicos. Oh. One more now than the great Di Stefano. Look at his first touch coming in here. He looks like he's lost it there to Carvajal. He goes past him in a flash. Look at the body swerve. The great balance. Fabulous goal from Lionel Messi. He's the best there is. He's oh. the best there ever has been. Possibly the best there ever will be.